In this video, I will show you how to train your pelvic floor in four simple exercises. You can do the first exercise at any time and in any place, for example, while waiting for the bus, brushing your teeth or relaxing in front of the TV. Nobody will notice what you are doing. The other three exercises should be done five times a week for 10 minutes each day. The more often, the better. It is important to carry out each exercise slowly and consciously. This will give you a better awareness of your body. During the exercises, make sure you breathe calmly. Sit down on a chair. Breathe in deeply. Now you are going to exhale slowly while firmly tensing the pelvic floor. While doing this, imagine that your vagina is an elevator going up. Your vagina will be put in towards the navel as you do this. During this exercise, you should make sure that your gluteal muscles stay relaxed. Hold the tension of your pelvic floor for 5 seconds. As you inhale again, slowly release and relax completely. Repeat this a few times. Once you have mastered the exercise well, you can try to tense your pelvic floor to different degrees. To illustrate this, let's use the image of the elevator again. Pretend that your vagina has 5 floors. The elevator goes up to the 5th floor, where your pelvic floor is tensed to the maximum. Then it goes down to the third floor, where your pelvic floor is only moderately tensed. Once you have reached the first floor, your pelvic floor is relaxed. Of course, you can vary between the floors of the elevator as you like. For this exercise, get down on your hands and knees on the floor. Your knees are directly under your hips, your arms are shoulder width apart and your hands are below your shoulders on the floor and pointing forwards. Now take a deep breath. As you breathe out, tense your pelvic floor just like in the first exercise. Imagine once more that your vagina is an elevator going up. You can move back and forth between the floors as in the first exercise. Remember the description. On the fifth floor, your pelvic floor has maximum tension. On the third floor, it is only moderately tensed. And on the first floor, it is relaxed. Now inhale deeply again and release the tension. On the next exhale, tense the pelvic floor as tightly as you can while rounding your back like a cat. Your vagina pulls towards the navel as you tense. Breathe in and out calmly while holding the position for three calm breaths. On the next inhale, lower your back again and consciously relax your muscles. Now, get on the floor and lay down on your back. The next step is to position your legs. Your feet should be right under your knee and your arms laying next to the upper body. Next, you breathe out and lift up your pelvis towards the ceiling. Always remember to tense the pelvic floor as we practiced in our first exercise. Now, we hold the tension for three deep breaths. It is very important to breathe calmly while holding the tension. After 5 to 7 seconds, we smoothly bring down our bottom and return to the starting position. Breathe out and release the tension in your pelvic floor. Take a few breaths and then repeat the exercise. Repeat this exercise 5 to 10 times and then take a break. Lay down on your back and get comfortable. Put your hands on your stomach and take a few breaths. Next, you take a deep breath and feel how your stomach grows in your hands. Breathe out and notice how your hands move down as the stomach becomes flat again. Close your eyes and feel your stomach move in unison with your breath. On the next exhale, you tense your pelvic floor and release it as you inhale. 